Hello everyone. It is time for the next Germany Bush trip, leg 5. If you watch the last leg, leg 4, I was having a little problem trying to generate a successfully completed screen to show up on the tarmac. But once I moved over to the runway it finally showed. Looks like I will be flying 39 minutes. I'm pretty sure it will take much longer than 39 minutes. You are probably right. Say hello to Olivia. Olivia will be taking care of the navigation side of the flight while I fly the airplane. Hi everyone. Today we'll be flying from Halliopen Airport to Bakasingen, Germany. Right now we have a visibility of 74 nautical miles. It is 9 a.m. and the wind is about 5 kilometers per hour. Time to hit the ready to fly button and get the show on the road. Just need to move the VFR map off to the right a little bit for better viewing. Now to zoom in. I'll go ahead and read the navlog. After launching, fly 6 nautical miles to the southwest to the historic city of Halle, the largest population center in the German state of Saxony-Anhalt. Don't forget the stopwatch. Right. Flaps up. Checking to see if we have enough fuel for this flight. Looking good. Pushing back the airplane. You sure the parking brakes are not set? You're pushing back very slowly. I think you are right. Let me double check. There we go. Okay, let's stop here. All right. Here we go. So tell me, how did you get interested in flying? Well, I grew up as a member of a poor family in Kentucky and Indiana. I attended school for only one year, but thereafter, read on my own in a continual effort to improve my mind. When I turned adult, I lived in Illinois and performed a variety of jobs including stints as a postmaster, surveyor, and shopkeeper before entering flight school. I served as a Cessna 150 pilot from 1989 to 1992 and in a Cessna 180 from 1992-1994 and then became an avid pilot in different Class C aircraft. That story sounds like it's coming from an Abraham Lincoln's historic document. Are you sure you are telling me the truth? No I am not. I'm just an AI pilot like you, not a real person. Ha ha ha. Oh brother. According to that runway sign, we will be taking off on runway 29 heading west. Let's double check everything at this holding position before we take off. Don't forget to turn off the warning indicator. Setting the altitude for 3000 feet. Yes, and I think we will be heading for some high terrain at a certain point. We'll fix that problem when we arrive there. All right, if you say so. I have confidence in your flying. Right. Just checking the brakes. All right, let's do this. Well, well. The runway from here seems a little short. I'd better add 15 degrees of flap for a better liftoff. 
and to ensure a positive takeoff, I'll keep the brakes on until I have full power. Okay, here we go. We are off the ground. Thanks, Olivia. Gear up. Turning left for a southwest heading. I'll go ahead and take the nav log out of the way. I'm going to zoom out the Garmin map for a better GPS view. I am going to set the vertical speed indicator to about 500 feet per minute. At the same time I am going to correct the heading to a more southwestern direction. Everything seems to be correct, now to turn on the automatic pilot. Olivia, what do you see to the left of your window? It's Grenstrasse, German for border road in Alley, Germany. I also see the Berlin Bridge that extends from the city of Freienfeld, Kaniner Weg, to the southern city center of Halle. I also see the main railway station which is in Saxony-Anhalt, one of the most important transportation hubs. It is a major stopping point for regional and long-distance trains. Rather, it is served by the city's public transport network, including the S-Bahn and buses. We are now coming up to the Saal River scene here, on the Garmin map. Saal, also called Saxon Saal, and Thuringian Saal, is a river here in Germany, and a left bank tributary of the Elbe. Neither it, nor the Saal in Lower Saxony, which is a tributary of the line, must be confused with the smaller Franconian Saal. Okay, let's follow the river to our destination by taking a slight left heading. Do you want to take a quick look outside on the drone? Of course, why not? Up ahead is the Hohenwieder Sea Lake. The name of the lake is derived from the nearby village of Hohenwieden in today's Salak Rays district. In the immediate vicinity is the Ratmansdorfer Sea. Together, both lakes are also called Ratmansdorfer Teich. And by the lake is the Schkapau Power Station. It is a lignite fill power plant in the Korbetha, part of the municipality in Schkapau, Mersberg, Korfer, Germany. It was built in 1995 and completed in 1996. There are two units totaling 916 megawatts, of which 110 megawatts are for traction current. Flight simulator has generated it as two large buildings, but it's really two nuclear power plants. Here on the Garmin map is Giseltal Sea. In Salic Rays, Saxony Anhalt, Giseltal Sea, literally, Gisel Valley Lake, is the largest artificial lake in Germany by area of about 1900 hectares. Let's continue reading the next destination on the Navlog. Gisseltalsee, which lies just under 10 nautical miles southwest of Haley, is the largest artificial lake by surface area in Germany. But we already mentioned how large the lake is just a few seconds ago. Here is Gisseltalsee Lake. Gisseltalsee Lake.
it is time to make a slight right turn for Giselto C. My, my. Need to slow down a bit. I'm in the yellow on a speed indicator. Ladies and gentlemen, Giselto C. Lake. And just to the left of us is the town of Brinsbedra. Brinsbedra is a town in the Salakreis district in Saxony-Anhalt, Germany. It is situated approximately seven miles southwest of Merseburg. It was created after 1945 by the merger of Bronsdorf and Bedra. The town Brinsbedra consists of Brinsbedra proper and four or Chaften, Franklin, Griskena, Krumpa and Rossbach. Back to the plane. The RPM gauge is still flashing Mike. All right, adjusting the manifold lever until the flashing red light stops. There you go. Bear with me people, until I take another look at the Google map. I think I'll make another heading correction. Mike, why do you always rely on the Google map? It's to ensure I stay on course and even try to find a better way to get to our destination. I'm done looking at the Google map for now. Let's go outside and take a look around. This is Naturschutz GB a tote tailor, or German for, nature reserve, dead valleys. This large nature reserve consists of grasslands and forests, and is home to a wide variety of native orchids. Everything looks good here. Let's go outside again. This town is Freiburg, known for its vineyard, historic town center, magnificent 11th century castle and associations with Frederick Ludwig John, founder of the modern gymnastics, it is a popular tourist destination. Its nickname is the Tuscany of the North, because Freiburg is one of the most prosperous towns in the region. Say goodbye to Freiburg. Looks like I forgot to read the navlog for Freebird. Might as well read it now. Fly for seven more miles to the southwest, and you'll reach Freebird, a city located along the Unstrut River among tourists for its multitude of sights and festivals. I don't think I'll ever make that kind of mistake. Ha ha. And now on to Gina Forest Nature Preserve. Gina Forest Nature Preserve is 20 nautical miles southwest of Freebird, offers a number of great views of its forested hillside from above. I am going to open up the VFR map. This area right here is Nuremberg. The first recorded mention dates was the year 1012 when it was mentioned as the new castle of the Eckehardinger, the Margrave of Meissen. Looks like I will be following the River Saal to our next destination, Gina Forest Nature Preserve. This area here is Bad Sulza. Within the German Empire, 1871 to 1918, Bad Sulza was part of the Grand Duchy of saxe weimar eisenach
time to get the nav log and the VFR map out of the way. This is Apolda. Apolda is a town in central Thuringia, Germany, the capital of the Weimar Land District. It is situated in the center of the Triangle Weimar Genenomberg near the River Ilm, about 15 kilometers east by north from Weimar. Say bye bye to Apolda. All right, let's get back to the airplane. Weimar Amfersted Airport, EDOU. Nothing much I can find as far as history and tourist information we could give you about this area, but they do give flying lessons and skydiving training. This is Blankenhain Forest. It has very good hiking trails and shelters in abundant. At some lookout points, a tourist guide is there to welcome you and be helpful. It is a very beautiful and graceful forest. It has high recreational value and very suitable for sports activities. And here is RT Recycling and Conditioning Quarry Company. It produces materials for roads, asphalt and concrete construction. Back to the airplane. The text reads, Tulspare Hayda, a dam, holding back a large reservoir, is located 24 nautical miles west-southwest of Gina Forest National Reserve. Okay then, let's make a heading change to west-southwest. All right, let's take the nav log out of the way. Time to bring out the VFR map and take a look around. Right now, I'm looking for the tall spare Hayda Dam. Again bear with me, while I browse the Google map.
Okay, I found it on the VFR map. The dam is right in this area. Oh, oh. Looks like we are coming up to high terrain. Yes. Right now I am at 3,000 feet, and the terrain avoidance and warning system, TAWS, is displayed on this screen. I might need to climb to a higher elevation to avoid the high terrain. We'll see. Let's go outside for a minute. There's a river just to my right. Why don't you fly there and take a look at that area? I think I will. This is the outskirts of Staton. Let's continue down the river. And here is the city of Staton. Within the German Empire 1871 to 1918, Staton was part of the Principality of schwarzburg rudolstadt All right, back into the plane. That high terrain is getting very intimidating. Above this lake is the city, Tulspair Heide. I'm going to make a course adjustment to get directly over the city. Let's go outside again and get close to the surface. And there's the lake. Tall spare Heda. Next to it is the Heda Dam. The Heda Dam dams the whip for Nirail Manau in southern Thuringia. Construction of the dam took place between 1980 and 1988, and it was commissioned in 1989. The reservoir can also be used for low water levels, industrial water supply, flood protection, and fish farming. This is the city of Ilmenau. It is the largest town within the Ilmenau district, with a population of about 36,000. The district capital of Ilmenau is Arnstadt. All right, Mike, take us back to the airplane. There's the dam again. I'm going to skip ahead of the airplane. That small town is Haida. Hey there, Haida. Cute Mike, real cute. All right, let's get this drone to move faster. There's Ilmenau City again. Back to the cockpit. Let's read up on our next destination. Continue on a west-southwest heading, and you'll reach the city Oberhof, a winter sports destination located in the Thuringian Forest mountain range.
All right, time to set the heading to west southwest. A little more south. Whoa, I think I see something. A bridge. I'm going outside. I was right. What do you know about this bridge, Olivia? This is a view of Highway 71 bridge in Martin Road in Thuringia, a former municipality of the Warburgraze district. Okay, back to the cockpit. Oh, time to do something about that terrain elevation. I need to climb over that mountain, so I'm going to go climb and maintain an altitude of 5,000 feet. I'm going to set the climb attitude to about 1,000 feet per minute. Okay, that should do it. Let's go outside and watch the climb. I'm bringing out the VFR map. That ladies and gentlemen is Jaridal. Jaridal is a municipality located in the district Elm Kreis, Thuringia. It was formed on 1 January 2019 by amalgamating the former municipal districts of Frankenhain, Jaraberg, Jeschwinda, Gossel, Grafenroda and Liebenstein. A beautiful town. Yes, it is. What captivating hills and valleys. Still climbing. It's time now to read our next destination, Schwarza. Nine nautical miles of southwest flight will bring you to Schwarza, a town in the central German state of Thuringia. Okay, let's bring the plane to a more southwestern heading. Let's go ahead and get the nav log out of the way. We are getting close to Schwarza. The Schwarza is 33 miles long. Its source is in the Thuringian Forest, near Neuhausen Renwick. It flows into the Saal and Rudelstadt. It has 50 tributaries, the largest being the Licht, the Sorbets, the Weir, and the Rhin. Its name, meaning Black River, comes from its dark color in its upper course, and the thick forest which originally overshadowed the narrow valley. Say goodbye to Schwarza. We are now heading further south for our next destination.
Airport code EDPV is Flugblitz Butchie, a great tourist area for light aircraft pilots and airplane enthusiasts. That is EDFD, Grosberg Airport, another great light aircraft airport. Time to make a more southern heading. This area must be bad Neustadt and Der Saal, as the navlog directed me to. Here it is again on the VFR map. Let's go outside and take a look at the city. Let's get down to the surface. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ban Neustadt and Der Saal. In the year 742, when the Bishopric of Würzburg was founded, the Church of St. Martin in Brenlorenzen, part of Bad Neustadt, was mentioned for the first time. As a baptismal church, the church was later renamed St. Johannes der Taufer, Church of St. John the Baptist. Bad Neustadt is located in the Palatinate Salts, which was founded by Charlemagne in the year 790. The Novus Evitas of Neustadt was first mentioned in a document of the Bishop of Würzburg in 1232, Medieval town wall in Bad Neustadt is shaped like a heart. Consequently, it is said to be part of a romantic legend. According to this account, Charlemagne founded the town as a gift for his beloved wife Estrada. This is Strelungen, another type of quarry. All right, back to the plane. Time to change our heading to southwest for Bad Kissingen. Let's read the navlog. Maintain your southwestern heading and bring your Bonanza G36 down at Bad Kissingen Airfield, EDFK. That must be the airport on the Garmin map. Right. It looks like a grassy airfield in this picture. 48 minutes of flying time. YouTube watcher time may vary because of the editing I have done on this video. Let's go back outside. Hey Mike, I think it's time for you to turn off the automatic pilot and get this plane on the ground. I think you may be correct Olivia. All right, we are descending to the surface. Mike, the warning light. Gotcha. That is Nidlingen, Germany. Nidlingen was first mentioned in 772 in the records of the monastery at Falda. 
With secularization of the government in 1803, the territory of the present municipality became part of Bavaria. These lands then again became part of Bavaria in 1814, this time permanently, at the defeat of Napoleon. According to the Garmin map, I should make a right turn here. I'm going to do a little maneuvering to line up to the airport. This is Bad Kissingen, Germany. The town was first documented in the year 801, under the name Chizitsche, and was renowned above all for its mineral springs, which are recorded from as early as 823. At that time, Kissingen was under the domination of Falda Abbey, later it fell to the Counts of Henburg, and was sold to the bishops of Würzburg in the 14th century. Kissingen was first mentioned as Oppidum in 1279. The town developed to a spa in the 1500s, and recorded its first official spa guest in 1520. In 1814, Kissingen became part of Bavaria. There's the airport. Maybe you should go further down, and then do a 180. Right. That hill is preventing you from lining up on the runway. Okay, I'm a little too high, and I'm going too fast to land here. I think you're right. Try it again, only on the other end of the runway. That isn't proper flying etiquette. You always land and take off with the airplane nose facing into the wind. During most wind conditions, yes. But this is a flight simulator, not real life. So deal with it. Right. On the left there is the town of Hausen. Yes, I'm going to fly over the town, do a 180 and try again. This time I am good to go. Or should I say good to stop? Cute Mike. Real cute. Touchdown. I'm going to park by those hangars there. I'm applying a little bit of brakes to slow down. Flaps up. Well, what do you think? It was another successful flight on this beautiful day. Nothing's happening. Let's make sure I landed at the right airport.
BDFK on the Garmin map. BDFK on the Navlog. Yep, we're on the right airport. I'll just wait a little longer and see what happens. Try taxiing on the runway and see what happens. Right again, Olivia. I'll stop right here. You did it, Mike. All thanks to you, Olivia. Thank you for watching, and if you can hit the like button and also the subscribe button, it would be most appreciated. That way we can continue to give you more of this outstanding video. Thank you again, see you on leg 6 of the Germany Bush trip. This is Michael and Olivia. Have, Have a great day. day.